Hi, my name is Tang. I'm here to talk to you guys about my research project on evading keyword-based internet censorship by hiding text data and images. Internet censorship is the suppression of information transmission and publication. Censorship practices stifle civic discussions and threaten freedom of speech and the exchange of information in the society. Before diving into the technical details of this project, we first need to understand how keyword-based internet censorship works at a high level. Unlike other internet censorship mechanisms, keyword-based censorship does not keep track of a list of banned websites to prevent access to those sites. It instead inspects transmission control protocol packets, or TCP packets, that contains site contents. Um, it inspects them against a list of banned keywords. Packets that contain banned keywords will simply be discarded before they arrive at their intended destination. Other researchers have proposed anti-censorship circumventions that allow content uh, containing banned keywords to bypass this barrier. For example, when research substituted banned Chinese words with their homophones. Another research replaced banned keywords with images accompanied by an image dictionary. However, these techniques downgrade the legibility of the text. Long-form texts such as news articles and books become very cumbersome to read with these methods. In my research, I want to find ways to bypass keyword-based censorship when transmitting long-form texts. This is where data hiding comes into play. Steganography is this practice of hiding secret data inside of something that's not so secret. While cryptography conceals the meaning of communications, steganography conceals the traces of communications. Let's see how image steganography works in its most basic form. When embedding secret text in images, we first have to deconstruct strings into the binary ASCII representations. We then iterate through the pixels in an image replacing the least significant bit of each pixel value with a bit from our text data. Since each pixel value is, is at most plus one or minus one from its original value, the difference between the original image and the image with payload embedded cannot be easily distinguished with naked eyes. My hypothesis is that, is that image steganography can help us transmit text data on a sensor network. To test this hypothesis, however, an experiment was needed. Um, in searching for steganography tools to use for this experiment, I discovered that um, most online image steganography tools uses very simple um, data embedding techniques that are weak against steg analysis uh, and, and, and analytical techniques that detect messages hidden using steganography. And since I wanted to target needs for transmitting um, news articles and books, the available tools online just didn't offer the high embedding capacity that I was looking for. Moreover, characters outside of the English character range are often not supported by these tools, thus limiting what language the hidden data can be in. I developed a new online steganography tool to circumvent all of the aforementioned obstacles. The algorithm in this new tool synthesized ideas proposed by previous researchers and original ideas proposed by me. The tool was designed to have high embedding capacity while minimizing the noise introduced in the embedding process. Several notable features in this tool include multilingual data writing and reading, AES encryption, pseudo-random pixel selection in the embedding process to prevent the concentration of noise in one area of the image, data hiding with three least significant bits instead of one to increase the capacity, um, and practices that further minimize noise, which you can read all about them in the link below. Now, let's see this tool in action. You can actually check out the live tool alongside this demo by visiting this link right now. 
here we have um, a browser and we're inputting um, the short link that redirects us to Pixel Ninja. We're going to be using this image of the moon as a carrier image today. And the text that we're going to be embedding today would be um, the complete works of William Shakespeare, about 5.5 .5 megabytes in size, quite a large text. And then we'll copy it all, drop back over to Pixel Ninja, and paste it in the input box. After that, we can scroll back down to um, put in a secret key, one, two, three, four, very secure, and click hide message. And now the texts are um, being written, being embedded in the image of the moon. And this image of the moon contains all of um, the entire works of William Shakespeare. We can then download the image. And perhaps we want to send the image to a friend so they can read all about William Shakespeare. Um, and then in the email, you can even include in conspicuous messaging that doesn't give away the content of the image. And the image is now attached. And we can simply hit send. And your friend can then download this image. And then go back to Pixel Ninja. This time we're going to be uh, using the extract portion of the site. Simply upload the image. And remember what the password is. Click review message. Um, this might take a several seconds um, because we're kind of uh, we're dealing with a relatively large um, text. There we go. Looks good. Now we can export um, the text as a .txt, and it retains all the formatting. With Pixel Ninja developed, I then moved to set up the experiment. In the first part of this experiment, I sought to replicate the results of one of the experiments in a relevant research done by Citizen Lab at the University of Toronto. According to the lab's 2020 report titled WeChat Daywatch, communications between China registered WeChat accounts and non China registered WeChat accounts were subjected to surveillance and keyword based censorship. I recruited a volunteer with a China registered WeChat account to participate um, in this research. The purpose of the first part of the experiment is to confirm the presence of a keyword based sensor in our communication channel. To do this, a WeChat private chat was created between the participant and I. In these screenshots, the blue profile picture represents my end of the communication, and red represents the participants' uh, responses. I then attempted to send um, different keywords to the participants and ask for a confirmation if they have received the message or not. At the end, we were able to identify a keyword um, when uh, when present in the image, or sorry, in the message, uh, would cause the packets to be discarded. After confirming the presence of censorship, we then moved on to the second stage of the experiment, where two images were sent to the participant. I used Pixel Ninja to embed just the keyword we have identified in stage one of the experiment in the first image. The second image contains a news article that discusses the events regarding the chosen keywords. The participants then used the web tool to extract text data embedded in the images. They were asked to send screenshots as confirmation that they have successfully extracted text data from the images. And as you can see um, from the results of this experiment, I was able to conclude that image steganography has the potential to be used to bypass keyword-based censorship when transmitting text data. This finding could lead to a wider application of steganography, uh, particularly as a tool to circumvent surveillance and censorship. 
currently I'm writing a Python library that includes different image diagonography methods and the methods used in Pixel Ninja. My hope is that this library can be used to analyze my own algorithm design and can be used to um, end future researches done by myself or others. I also hope to publish the findings so far with a journal. If you're interested in reading more about this project, my work in progress paper is available here at this link. Uh, 